I'm glad that we have three guests here today because what you just saw from Charlotte this morning is one of the best speeches and one of the best speakers that we have in our club. And I want to say a couple things before I get into what she did well. As a speaker, we are to not only say what we need to say, but also how we say it. And a couple ways we do the how is either by vocal variety, where we change our voice, or with our gestures, with our body language. And Charlotte's speech this morning was all about body language. How many of you felt like you were at the zoo? I mean, can, could you see the animals, you know, as she was describing them and stuff? Well, could you imagine her probably when she was like in the third or fifth grade uh, for the show and tell portion uh, of class or whatever? So Charlotte did an excellent job. She achieved her goals of uh, body gestures. So as for our guests, what she did was she not only did the head where she spoke about uh, the animals, but she, she also touched our heart. Um, she made us feel like we were there. She also uh, had a lot of humor uh, that made us laugh. But then she showed us what it was like with regards to the animals. So what I'd like to do is just briefly just highlight a few of the things that she did well. She had a great introduction. She was very informative. She had no notes. She comes up here all the time without any notes. That means she's very well prepared ahead of time. She did not work on a speech the morning of, okay? Great vocal variety. She was entertaining and very organized. And I love the fact that she concluded her speech with a quote uh, that touched our hearts there. So some of the gestures she had, the flock up and down the wavement there, the termites eating the wood, remember that? Very visual. The African lion, you know, the way she used her hand gestures there to kind of imitate a lion. The zebra, razzle, was it razzle-dazzle? Yeah, razzle-dazzle, that term there. The elephant with the trunk and the long tail. And the flamingo, remember the flamingo? <laughs> I'm glad it's not on video. Hopefully it's not. And the rhinoceros with the horn and stuff. So, in closing, she achieved her purpose. And hopefully we've learned something from her. Charlotte, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have anything critical with regards to speech. All your speeches are excellent, and this is another example of you being well prepared. So great job. Yeah, great job.